When it comes to setting up fish finders, one of the first things that I like to do is go through and name my transducers. It can get a little frustrating when you're out on the water and have a bunch of different channels coming up. So this just makes it a little bit easier on you when you're out on the water. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually power off all my other units. I have four units on here. They're all etherneted together. So I'm gonna power off three of them and just set up one at a time. That's just how I like to do it. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So once you get there, you can come over to settings, go down to sonar. And the first thing you wanna do on this page is turn network sonar on. Now, next thing after that, you're gonna go down to network sonar mode. It's gonna come with single source already on there. You're gonna to wanna to switch all of your units over to multi-source. So you're gonna click multi-source. It's gonna restart the unit, come back on, and you're gonna see that you have channel one up here, channel two. So on this unit, I have my skimmer transducer in there, which is in the blue port, which is channel one. So I'm gonna turn that one on. I don't have anything in channel two on this one, so I just turned that one off. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier when you turn them off, then you don't get any more uh, options coming up. Uh, after that, you're gonna come down to installation. Uh, first thing, go to source. Uh, as long as you have all the other units powered off, channel two turned off, uh, it's only gonna come up as channel one. I got a few different ones because my units are all on right now. Next thing, you come to your source name, uh, name it whatever you want. So I have, this one's my skimmer, so I named it skimmer. And last and the most important is the transducer type. So you're gonna, when you have your cord up here with your transducer, uh, you're gonna have a tag real close to the end and it's gonna have a bunch of letters on there. So you're gonna have to scroll through here and find the bunch of, letter, find the bunch of letters and select the letters that are on that tag. That way it knows exactly what transducer you're using. So you're gonna exit out of there, you'll save that, and you'll see you have a name up there. Uh, this is my skimmer transducer running right now. When you come down to source and you have all of them named, so here I got my trolling motor, three and one, active target, skimmer. So the only difference when you're setting up three and one is that it's actually gonna recognize the three and one transducer. So you're not actually gonna have to go through and select the transducer type. It already knows what's going on. So. Uh, that's how you set up your transducers. Uh, you know exactly where you're pulling from and it makes life a little bit easier on the water.